9905000. The code is 602-784-POUND. In, in person Sunday morning worship here in the sanctuary is at 11 a.m. Wednesday night there is a prayer call at 8 p.m. Central Time. The phone number is 978-990-5000. The code again is 602-784-POUND. And then on Friday, we have one hour of power in prayer at 11 a.m. here in the sanctuary. You can join the Great New Bible Ways Mother's Board. Amen. Those golden women of God, they are praying virtually on Tuesdays at 6 a.m. Central Time. And also again on Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time. The coordinator is our own church mother, uh, Mother Jessie L. Dandridge. Join the Great New Bible Way Church of God in Christ virtually for any of these worship opportunities. Excuse me. By means of social media, Facebook, Great New Bible Way Church of God in Christ, Instagram, Great New Bible Way Kojic, or via YouTube, the YouTube platform in the name of Quick Church Services. Join us one, join us all. To God be the glory. Acknowledgements of birthdays, wedding anniversaries, special achievements, and accomplishments in April the 4th month of the year. Amen. If your birthday is in the month of April, will you please stand at this time? <laughs> Happy birthday, April birthday. Do we have any wedding anniversaries in the month of April? Amen. There are none. We are praising God for our new members, amen, who have joined the Great New Bible Way family in the previous month of March. If that is you and you are in church, amen, starting off on the right foot, when you stand? We want to celebrate you. Amen. God bless you. Great is thy faithfulness. It is anniversary time. It is anniversary season. It is anniversary time. It's a celebration. Come on, let's appreciate and praise God for anniversary. Amen. Amen. The, the, the heightness, the excitement that's in Greater New Bible Way, where we will be honoring our pastor, Pastor Dennis J. Rogers Sr. and Lady Dora Ann Rogers. Amen. For 10 years. 10 all years. The 10th and wife anniversary announced by the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ will take place on Sunday, May the 1st. That is the first Sunday and the first day of May at 12 p.m. high noon. The theme this year is God's chosen vessel, vessels, excuse me, for his purpose and direction. Amen. We cannot pay them, but we do, we give them what is due to them. Amen. We're going to give them our presence, our smile, our tokens of love. Amen. You may be giving, amen, paying on your or giving your donated, amen, anniversary seat, amen. The finance committee is ready. Amen. 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 The speaker for that Sunday will be the Pastor Aaron Withers from the First Jurisdiction of Arkansas, First Trinity Church of God in Christ, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Amen. Our anniversary covers this year is white with a touch of silver and black. Let me repeat that. Those are some, amen, some stellar colors, amen? The colors are white with a touch of silver and black. Oh, amen. God bless you, amen. But I got come, amen, this morning, amen, Missionary Joseph, amen, amen, introduced, amen, our new members that joined Amen. In the month of March. Amen. Amen. And I just want to let you know, Greater New Bible Way, that they have completed the new members' orientation. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So our secretary is coming. Amen. Along with Elder Quick. Amen. And Sister Quick. Amen. Our new members' coordinators. Amen. And we are going to present them their certificate. Amen. Let's say amen, amen for Sister Hall. I stand before you all to read the new members' uh, certificates and they all read the signing. Chapter 1, verse 1. 
Church of God in Christ Certificate of Church Membership. This certifies that Stanley Barnes has publicly confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and has been received into the full membership of the Greater New Bible Way, Church of God in Christ, on this 10th day of April in the year of our Lord, 2022. Amen. 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 Come on, minister. Stanley Barnes. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Congratulations, sir. Stan. Greater New Bible Way, can we give, amen, these new members a standing ovation and thank God for them becoming a part of this great church. Come on, celebrate them on this morning.
tell somebody he's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of all the glory and all the honor. For it belongs to our God. We make no, we make no apologies about the move of the Spirit of the Lord. Somebody say, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done. Amen. Not only what he has done, but even what he's doing right now, Sister Jackson. He's doing it even right now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Men and women. 
Amen. Although, amen, there are so much, amen, that we could take lesson from, amen, time would not allow, amen, me or man, us to recall all, amen, the things, amen, that God has done for all of us, which we should be thankful for. Oh, I know you got a story. I can just look around this audience today. All of us got, amen, something that we could be, amen, thankful for on today. But it is unfortunate, amen, that society has produced a lot of misfits, amen. Society today has produced, amen, an unusual amount of very, and I'm going to put that in front of it today, very unthankful people. You see them as you walk daily. Amen. You see them in your community. Some of us work with them. Some of us live with them. Amen. Some of us encounter them, amen, in the malls. Amen. We see them on television. Amen. A lot of unthankful people. I need more. I want more. Give me more. Because what I have, I'm not satisfied. I want some more. Do y'all know some people that are like that? I believe, amen, that as we gather here today, every one of us have something that we should be thankful for today. So many, amen, amen, complain about what they do not have. But we should be thankful, amen, and appreciate, amen, what God has already. All of us could complain. But as the songwriter says, my good days. Am I talking to anybody just yet? My good days outweigh my bad days. Therefore, what? I won't. Complain. One of the famous hymns of our church. When up on life's billows, you are tempest and tossed. When you're discouraged, amen, thinking that all is lost, songwriter says, Count your many blessings. You got to learn to name them one by one. Amen. And it will surprise not only me, but it will surprise even you when you start counting and seeing what the Lord has somehow to give God a thank you for you right there. All we got to do is take, amen, the time, take, amen, a retrospective look, amen, back in history, amen, back in the back door of our lives, amen, and see where God has brought us from. See where you and I are now, and amen, and then whether an eye of faith, with an eye of faith, and you can look to where God is taking you, amen, and it will give you something, amen, that you should be thankful. Many times, many times in this life, we need to be like, amen, the servant Elijah. Amen. As he went up, amen, and he turned, amen, to see, amen, and he went up six times, amen, before, amen, and saw nothing. Went back, Elijah, amen, and the prophet said, go again. And on that seventh time, Saw a little cloud coming up over the horizon of the sea. Amen. The size of a man's hand. Ah, good God Almighty. You ought to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you keep on looking, amen, you will see something. You got to keep the eyes open. If you keep on looking, you will see something that you can give God thanks for. I don't know about y'all, but 
but I found out that if you thank him for the little bit, the thank him for the little things, thank him for the small things that he's done. Amen. Missionary used to come to church, used to testify. I thank God. Amen. Church mother, thank God that I got my mind this morning. I woke up and I had my right mind. I used to always know what mother was going to say. The first thing she got up and testified, I thank God. I didn't understand that, amen, when I was a child, when I was a teenager. Amen. I'm Monta, amen. You know how we do as children. We know how to shout like everybody. We know how to testify like everybody. When we were children coming up in the church, we used to know what they were going to say. Amen. But now that I have gotten a little older, now that I've had some things to come in my life that buffeted me, Deacon Lewis, I thank God for my mind. The things we may take for granted. He wakes you up in the morning. First thing you ought to do is say, Lord, I thank you. Secondly, he lets you drive, amen, through the city, traffic, highways, amen, and byways, amen, and you arrive at your destination safe and sound. You ought to take the time out before you do anything else to say, Lord, I wake up in the morning, I'm able to open up my eyes, I see the bright shine sign, amen, and I look over at my spouse, amen, and they have life in them. Lord, I thank you. Maybe to get up and go to my kitchen, open up the refrigerator, amen, prepare myself, amen, breakfast. I got to say, Lord, I thank you. Maybe to go to the bathroom, cleanse myself, take care of all of my hygiene needs on my own. say thank you this morning. I was able to do it myself. Oh, God, my God. Mm. And some folks, some folks have a bad habit and all of us have done it before. We can't say thank you. Amen. Over the little things. Over the small things over the things, amen, that we seem to think that, amen, come natural. But I learned to say thank you. I tied my own shoes up this morning. I combed my own hair this morning. I brushed my own teeth this morning. I did all these things with the Lord. Because God in the text today, Luke is the only writer that records the healing of ten lepers. As a medical doctor, Luke was, he illustrates, amen, our Lord's encounter with precision, with detail, with illustration. Lord, the Lord's encounter with ten men who needed a touch from the master's hand. Y'all pray with me just for a few more minutes. Matthew, Mark, amen, amen, and this same gospel writer, Luke, amen, in an earlier chapter, amen, all three, amen, identified one man, Sister Harrison, one single solitary individual man who was a leper. Just one. Huh. They came and whispered, amen, and worshiped Jesus, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can make me clean. And the Lord said, I will. Be thou clean. 
Jesus just spoke to me the word. And the man was healed of the But a phrase, amen, was coined many years ago, amen, that fits our text today concerning, amen, not the one leper, amen, but the ten lepers. And that phrase is misery loves company. Do you all know some people that are always talking negative from the time they get up to the time they go down? Amen. Everything is negative. There's nothing positive. They're not thankful. They're not grateful. They can't think of one thing. Amen. If you hang around these type of people, saints of God, it's going to get into your spirit. It's going to affect you. Not only will it affect you mentally, it's going to affect you emotionally. It's going to affect you physically and show up spiritually. Mm -hmm. Does it 
mean that you have done anything wrong. God will sometimes let you, amen, and I go through, amen, so you can come out, amen, and your life will be a testimony. Amen. If you never mm -hmm, went through anything, amen, you would never have anything to give God thanks for. Are there any thankful people in the house? If God never brought you out of any mess, if God has never brought you out of any storms in your life, if you've never had where your back was pinned against the wall, amen, then you might sit there, amen, and think that all this is good stuff, amen, and it always happened for me. Good God Almighty, that all these blessings, amen, ought to shower on me because of who I am. Good God Almighty, because of who my mother is. Uh-huh, because of who my father is. Because of where I graduated from college. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because of who I know that sits in the White House. Who I know that sits in the governor's house. Who I know that sits on the big board. Good God Almighty. But God lets you and I be touched with devastation. And God lets you and I be touched with sickness and disease so that he can prove, amen, that he is Jehovah Rapha. Mm -hmm. That's why you're going through. Amen. He lets you and I be touched with these things so that he can prove that he is Jehovah Jireh. Uh-huh. So that he, you, you and I would know that he is El Ohim. He is Yahweh. He lets you and I be touched with these things so that we can see that God is God. And ain't nobody God but God. Amen. And that God is all God, all by himself. Somebody know what I'm talking about this morning. There's nothing too hard for God to do. Good God about it. I come to remind you today that if God be for you, that he's more than the whole wide world against you. Good God about it. But in the text, look here, look here. Amen is one that turned back and fell down on his face, fell down on his knees, fell down at the knees, at the feet of Jesus with a loud voice. Giving God glory, giving God thanks, giving God praise for what he has done in his life. Good God Almighty, I don't know about you, but when I think of what God has done for me, how he healed my body when I was a little bitty boy. My mother's sitting right there, she can tell the story better than I can, but coming on up from that, since I've been grown, since I've been on my own, since I had my own family, I've experienced some hard days. i experienced some trouble in my life. i experienced some, amen, some days when my back was against the wall, and I had to call on the name of the Lord. It felt like I was all by myself, but I lifted up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help knowing that all of my help come from the Lord. I was able, amen, I was put in position that that was the only way that I could look up. You know when you're flat on your back, you can't look down. There's only one way that you can look up. I lifted up my eyes unto the hills from which come my help. And I said, Lord, if you don't deliver me, Lord, if you don't save me, whether shall I go? And when the Lord moved upon my situation, gave me help and strength, gave me a new determination, gave me and told me to go run on to see what the end is going to be. Before I knew anything, things began to change in my life for the better. I looked at my hands, and my hands were new. I looked at my feet, and they were new too. I had a brand new thought. I had a brand new sight. I had a brand new outlook on this life that I'm living. And I know that nobody do it but the Lord. When I think of the goodness 
righteousness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. I got to tell him thank you for what you did for me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for healing my body. Thank you for setting me free. Is there anybody here today that lift those hands and tell Lord I thank you. Lord, I worship you. Amen. Like that one day. If don't nobody else do it, I'm going to be that one. I'm going to be one. I don't care if mother decides that she's going to turn around. I'm going to be one. Wife might decide she's not going to do it anymore. Lord, here I am. Because you know what I found out? Can't nobody die for me. There won't be no one else standing before the judgment bar but me. I want to let the Lord know. And the praise, sing, the praise team sings the song. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful for what you have done for me. It could have been me. As a matter of fact, somebody have a testimony that says, it should have been me. When I drive up and down the interstate in the city and I see the man and the woman on the corner. Amen. And I see them leaving, living underneath the bridges. It don't take you long to figure out that there's a situation there. There's something that has happened in his or her life that they wasn't able to overcome. It's only by the grace of God, saints. It's only by the grace of God. My father used to say, with just one bump on the head, just one bump on the head from losing our mind, I'll say that testimony from Mother Vanderbilt. Amen. If God don't keep us, we can lose it all, saints. That's my message today. Will you be one that will come back and tell the Lord, thank you? Will you be one that will be grateful? Will you be one that will worship and magnify God? We're standing all over the building. Lord, I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to be grateful. Amen. In the morning when I rise, before I ask anything of you, God, I want to let you know how grateful I am, how thankful I am, how you kept me through the night. You didn't allow the mugger, the robber, to break in. Amen. And take my life, my family's life. It's happening, saints. It just haven't happened to you. Amen. But you need to say, Lord, I thank you. Turn on the news. Read the newspaper. You see tragedies happening all around us. But it just have a knock on our door. Don't take it for granted that you have it made. Don't take it, take it for granted, amen, that all is well with you. And that none of these, these things can happen. Except God keep the city. The watchman's watch is in vain. I don't care how many policemen that we have on the force. It doesn't matter who the chief is. It doesn't matter who the governor is. The president is. Except God keep us. And I'm so glad I don't put my life in the hands of these men. They make decisions for us all. But God keeps us all. 
Nobody but God, saints. Nobody but God. Just like you, I've lost some things. Lost some people in my life to where I thought I would lose my mind. Oh, yes. I even said it to myself. Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose this one. I lose that one. But I can tell you, he's a keeper. I didn't lose my mind. I didn't go crazy. Amen. I didn't put my shoes, Ella Vanderbilt, on my head. Amen. God has kept me in the midst of it all. And he'll do the same for you. But you must commit yourself to God. You must commit your ways to God, saints. Trouble is going to come in all of our house, but it's good to know where to turn when trouble does come. Some think, amen, if I have a million dollars in the bank, amen, I'll be all right. Your money will run out one day. Matter of fact, I don't care if you have 10 million in the bank. Your money will run out, amen. All it really takes is one trip to the hospital, amen. And that one trip to the hospital can consume every dime you and I have. Except God. Keep the seat. The watchers watch is in vain. I want to make an appeal today to those of you that are here today. First of all, if you're not saved and you know where you are, you haven't proclaimed the Lord as your personal Savior, as Lord and Savior over your life, if you're in the house today, I want to give you an opportunity to come to this altar today to accept Christ as your Savior. If there ever was a time we need to give our life to God, now is the time. You all see what is going on in this world. And the Bible speaks of this wars and rumors of wars. Amen. This isn't the last one that is going on now in Ukraine. This isn't the last thing. Amen. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. But God letting us know that he's on his way. And I want to be ready. If you're here today, come on, come on to this altar. Amen. Those of you that said, Pastor, I want, oh, I know I need a little more strength today to walk with Jesus. In this Christian walk, amen, you may have backslidden. If you're in the house today, this altar is open for you as well. Any backslider in the house today? Bold enough to say, yes, I was there. But I strayed. But I'm coming home. I'm back. I'm back. Thank you, Jesus. And finally to that man, woman, boy, girl that need a little more strength in this journey, in this walk, in this Christian race. Pray for me, Pastor. I need power. I need power. I need strength. I need more of God in my life. I've had some good days. I've had some bad days. I've had some ups. And I've had some downs. I've even got some struggles right now that are going on in my life. I need the prayers of the saints to pray for me and with me because I want to be an overcomer. I want to be an overcomer. I don't want to continue to trip over the same things time after time. Pray for my strength. Come on, elders and ministers. Come on, come on, let's pray. Are you looking for a church where love flows because God is in control? A church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services.